What's up Jams fam? Thanks for tuning in today. We got some killer news for you. But first if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell. We got a cash prize for one lucky winner. When we hit 1000 subs. Subscribe so you don't want to miss out. Now in the news, Cleveland Indians will have no Native American base name going forward. Owner says. The Cleveland Indians' new name will not have Native American ties, team owner Paul Dolan said Monday. While Indians will always be a part of our history, Dolan said, it is time to move forward and work to unify our stakeholders and fans through a new name. Dolan told the Associated Press, however, the team will continue with its Indians moniker through the 2021 season. And perhaps even longer as it tries to find a new, permanent nickname. We do not want to be the Cleveland baseball team or some other interim name, he said. We will continue to be the Indians until we have identified the next name that will hopefully take us through multiple centuries. The Cleveland Indians are reportedly going the way of the Washington football team. They are finally changing their team name, although it's unclear what it will be. The team is expected sometime this week, and the news is they are dropping the Indians' name, which they have had since 1915, and will start a process of adopting something new. The report says they will probably keep their current name for the 2021 season, and officially lose it for 2022, all while engaging the public about an appropriate alternative. In the interim, the team is reportedly considering going by the Cleveland baseball team. As for the famous logo of a Native American, known as Chief Wahoo, that image was retired a couple of years back, and the team adopted a letter C as their new official symbol. The move to drop Indians is a long time coming. Similar to how Washington dropped Redskins not too long ago. There's been mounting pressure for years from the Native American community, as many found the caricature slash nicknames downright degrading. Some Cleveland fans love the original name, but it is clear the team's management and ownership feel it is time to get with the times, and stop exploiting indigenous groups. Native American leaders state Cleveland did good. And the name change will reduce suicides. The name will prevent Native Americans from taking their own lives, according to leaders in the community, who insist there's a connection. Suicide is an enormous problem among Native Americans. It is the second leading cause of death, and is especially dire among the young. As for why the name of a baseball team affects the suicide rate. When Native Americans see non-Natives wearing sacred headdresses and mocking their people with mascots, names, antics, etc. cultural appropriation, it screws with their heads in a big way says Prairie Bighorn Blunt, executive director of the American Indigenous Business Leaders. This, we are told, profoundly diminishes self-esteem as well as pride, and can create a severe identity crisis. There is actual, hard proof to back this up, namely a study of 600 Native Americans, the overwhelming majority saying they were highly offended by pro sports teams using nicknames related to Native Americans. Some groups are thrilled Cleveland is changing its name, but they won't be satisfied until other teams follow. They are talking to the Kansas City Chiefs, the Atlanta Braves and Chicago Blackhawks. It is sad in this day and age that the Native Americans are still trying to fight for the rightful respect they are owed. Thanks for tuning into the news. Don't forget there are a lot of ways to help support the channel. You can donate with Cash App. At Money Sign Jams TV. Also with Venmo Jams TV. And please don't forget to check out the merch store. Jams TV gear makes great Christmas gifts. See you next time guys.